Hi guys, so a couple of weeks ago I did a video looking at games on sale in the EU in the Big in Japan sale. I got a lot of positive feedback for that video so I thought I'd do the same now that we've got another big sale in the EU. So in this video we'll take a look at all the games on sale and I'll talk about the ones that I've played and whether I think they're good or not. So looking at this first page, Mortal Kombat is really good. It's a good fighting game and there's a lot of extras in the Vita version that make it fun to play. And the story is really good. It's a great cinematic movie story. I really liked it. Ratchet & Clank Q-Force, I didn't really like that one. It's kind of a tower defense game where you're running around on the screen setting up your defenses, but it didn't perform very well on the Vita. There was a lot of stuttering and slowdown and it spoiled the experience for me so I stopped playing after a couple of hours. It may be a decent game if you can stick with it, but I just couldn't get over the performance of it. God of War Collection, so I really loved the God of War games. I played all of them on my PS3 or PSP. I was really excited when this was coming to Vita, but when I actually got it and played it, I was very disappointed. The graphics and sound aren't very good. The graphics look almost worse than the PSP God of War games. The game has actually got some trophy glitches that meant I didn't get all the trophies when I played God of War 1. I stopped playing the game after I realised I'd missed some trophies and waited for a patch, but it never came. Which is super annoying that Sony would release one of their games, one of their big brand names, and not patch it when there are issues. So, I gotta be honest, I don't think this is worth playing on the Vita. If you can play it on the PS3, or even via PS Now on the PS4, that would be a better way to experience these games. I've never actually played the Ratchet & Clank trilogy, or the Jack trilogy, or even the Sly Cooper trilogy, so I can't really talk about those games. I mean, I've heard good things about them in general, but I'm not sure the performance of them is that great on the Vita. So jumping on the second page, there's some really good games here. Killzone Mercenary, Little Big Planet, Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends are all excellent games. And the prices are really good, these are definitely worth playing. I played Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. It's a pretty good game, but it wasn't amazing. It's kind of a Metroidvania game, but it's a little bit strange because when you're running through the corridor, there's lots of backtracking. And once you beat an enemy, they're gone from the game for good. So it's kind of weird, you're backtracking into these environments where you've killed all the enemies, so it just becomes really empty and a bit boring when you're going through again. So it's okay, and at the price it may be worth getting, but it wasn't an amazing game. On to the third page, Borderlands 2 is excellent, I really enjoyed this game. The performance of the Vita version isn't perfect, it, I did have some crashes when I played it. The graphics aren't amazing compared to the PS3 or PS4 versions. But it's still a good game, and I think the fact that you've got a game that's so big, running on a handheld, is so impressive. Uncharted Golden Abyss is amazing, it's a great game, and it's a proper full-on Uncharted game on the Vita. It's a lot of fun and almost just a must-have for every Vita owner. Injustice, similar to Mortal Kombat, really good game as well. It's a great fighting game and with a really good cinematic story. Tearaway is a very artistic game, it's a 3D puzzle platformer. I didn't actually enjoy it that much, and I think I'm one of the few people that didn't. It looked very impressive, it was very kind of cute to play, but I just didn't really enjoy it, I got quite bored of playing it. Having said that, again, at that price it may be worth picking up anyway. On to the next screen, so Freedom Wars is really good, I really like this game. It's a Monster Hunter type game set in a dystopian future. The premise, the battle system, the enemies, they were all really good. Resistance Burning Skies was one of the first games to come out on the Vita. First person shooter like other Resistance games. It's okay, it's not great. It's a lot better than the Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, but it wasn't an amazing game. Killzone Mercenaries is much better when it comes to first person shooters, so if you have a choice, grab that one. Grand Kingdom is a strategic RPG. I really enjoyed this game. It's one of my favourite games on the Vita. It's long, it's got a really deep and complex battle system, and there's just so much to do. Volume, I played a bit, but never actually finished it. I didn't actually enjoy it very much. It's a stealth game kind of similar to the Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. I just wasn't really a big fan of it, to be honest. It felt less about skill and more about just trial and error. The Grand Theft Auto games on the PSP were all really good. It was really impressive seeing the Grand Theft Auto experience shrunk down onto a PSP. Although my favourite one is actually Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. 
which is more similar to Grand Theft Auto 1 back on the PC when I played it. All three are really good and worth buying. I really wish we'd actually got a real Grand Theft Auto game on the Vita with trophies. And onto the final page, the only game I've played from this one is Rose in the Twilight. I did a review of this game earlier this year, and I like this game a lot. It's an atmospheric horror puzzle game where you control a little girl and her stone guardian trying to get through the castle and uncover the secrets as to what happened there. If you're not into very slow sort of puzzle atmospheric games it may not be for you but I really enjoyed it. So looking through these screens there are a lot of games here that I haven't played so there's a few that I'm thinking about picking up myself. What would you recommend guys? Leave a comment below and as always thanks for watching. So I made that last video and then realised that there were actually so many more games on sale in the totally digital sale in the EU. So let's take a look at those ones too. The first page has Day of the Tentacle Remastered. I haven't played it so I can't comment on this one, but I did want to point out that Cosmic Star Heroin is also on sale. This game is going to be cross by when it comes out according to the developers, so it may be worth picking up now. On the next page we've got Full Throttle, Grim Fandango and Oddworld New and Tasty. I haven't played any of these ones too I'm afraid. And same with the next page I haven't played Talisman Digital Edition. If you've played it leave a comment and let us know, I actually don't know anyone who's played this game. Page 4 has Rogue Legacy. This is an excellent roguelike action platformer. The game is so much fun. You need to explore a procedurally generated castle and when you die you take the role of the next generation of the hero's family and they can have random traits that may help them or they can have random hindrances like they're colorblind and so the screen becomes black and white. I really recommend this game, it's fun and it takes dozens of hours to beat. Hotline Miami 1 and 2 are on sale? I'm probably in the minority but I preferred Hotline Miami 1. 2 was good but I found it more unfair than 1. The levels were much bigger than one and the enemies could spot you from far away and shoot you before you could even see them on your screen. Both are excellent games and are worth playing but if you had to choose one I'd go with the first game. The next page has Fez, Titan Souls, Pumped BMX and Bastion. Fez and Bastion are superb. Fez is a beautiful pixel graphic puzzle platformer and Bastion is a top down action game with an amazing soundtrack. Pumped BMX is kind of like the Trials games. I played it a bit but it didn't grab me. Titan Souls is a really interesting game. It's a top down game where you fight only bosses. It takes one hit to kill them and you also die with one hit. It's like a retro version of Shadow of the Colossus but the game was super frustrating. The bosses were tricky to kill and you had to walk back from the last checkpoint to get back to fight the same boss again which was very annoying. I was really excited about the game before I played it but it was just too frustrating and not fun. Risk of Rain is another excellent game. It's also a roguelike 2D action game with gorgeous pixel graphics. The gameplay is excellent. The characters and enemies do look a bit small on the Vita screen but it's still a fun very playable game. Hatterfall Boyfriend is also on sale. I started playing the game and fell asleep. I need to get back to it at some point and give it a proper go because I can't say if it's any good really. Active Soccer and A Boy and His Blob are on sale but I haven't played either of them. Stealthink 1 and 2 on sale. I played 1 and I didn't like it that much. I think I'm in the minority though with this opinion. It's a stealth puzzle game. Take a look at some of the gameplay and see if you think it's a game for you. On the next page there's one game I really recommend, Foul Play. The game has had so little attention but it's so much fun. It's a scrolling beat em up like Final Fight or Streets of Rage but with an old English gentleman as a protagonist taking you through his adventures. The game is fun and it's funny too. 10 Seconds Ninja isn't bad, I've only played it a bit but I do like it. I haven't actually played Alone With You. It's another game I want to buy and play. I haven't played Lickspear but I'm definitely buying it. It looks really cool from the trailers and I've heard a lot of good things so I'm going to be buying that one. On the last page we've got Xenorade which is a decent vertical scrolling shoot em up and there's also 2064 read only memories which should also be cross by when it comes to Vita. So it may be worth grabbing that now and downloading it when it gets to Vita.
Overall, the Totally Digital and the Summer Sales are very impressive, with lots of variety of games on sale. So guys, what are you planning on picking up and what would you recommend to others? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.